What's up, golf news? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, part two of golf ball fitting. Um, didn't really have this plan, didn't really have this in mind, but was chatting with Golf Noob Senior, and um, he ran into a bit of a conundrum the other day. So he was out playing his local course that he plays all the time back home, and suddenly he realized he was out of his trusty Titleist True Field golf balls. He couldn't find any more in his bag. So he's digging around his bag and he fishes out some golf ball he's found somewhere along the way. And it turns out to be a Titleist Pro V1. And dad's like, well, I'll just play with this one until I lose it. Well, dad played four holes with that ball and was shocked by the performance he saw. Good feel, good spin in and around the greens, a little more distance. And he just couldn't wrap his head around it. He's like, I've been reading all this stuff online that says us seniors and people with slower swing speeds need to play the slower low compression distance balls like the Titleist True Feel or the Callaway Super Soft. And I was like, oh, it drives me crazy. It drives me absolutely crazy when I hear people trying to fit themselves for their swing speed. And it's not their fault. Many moons ago, some company decided, hey, we need to help people fit themselves for golf balls. And instead of doing it the right way, they tried their way. Okay, and I didn't like it. I've never liked it. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever to pick your golf ball based on your swing speed. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Three main factors, guys, when you're picking your golf ball, all right? And that's price, spin, and feel, all right? Price is pretty obvious, guys. What's your budget? How many balls are you losing around? If you're losing a nine or 10 balls around, you should probably not be playing an expensive premium quality golf ball. You're not there yet. Play the cheapest thing you can get your hands on, all right? But if, say, you just broke 100 and you're starting to get a little better, maybe you just broke 90 for the first time and you're starting to put the ball in the places you want to put it, well, that's when the golf ball can really make a huge difference in your game and help you shoot better scores, all right? But you really, you need to be concerned with price, spin, and feel. Feel is subjective, guys. Does the ball feel too hard when you hit it? Does it feel too soft when you hit it? That's going to be different for every player, all right? But spin is probably the most important factor. Spin is the number one factor when picking a golf ball. How much approach game spin do you need? How much spin do you need from 100 yards and in? That's really the main question when you're trying to pick the right golf ball for your game. Not swing speed. Your swing speed doesn't matter. You heard it here first, guys. Your swing speed doesn't matter when choosing a golf ball, all right? Till next time, Golf Noob.